Okay, guys. I had a uh, small disaster wrapping this coil. It's kind of disappointing. Uh, I'll show you what happened. I've got this coil wrapped. If you haven't seen my other video, I've got this coil wrapped on. Uh, let me try to focus this here. That didn't work. I've got this coil wrapped on another coil of wire. As you can see it there, it's a stranded wire. So this is a, uh, a rodent coil wrapped on another coil of wire. And uh, when I got done, I wrapped it so tight it kind of bowed. You can see it there a little bit. So uh, the first wrap, uh, the first winding I should say, I, I flattened the coil that worked okay and glued the ends. And uh, the second time I tried it, didn't work out so well. Uh, as you can see here, I'll try to focus again here, the uh, outer uh, ring, which is, like I said, stranded wire, you can see it here, um, well broke. Um, not real happy with that, because uh, that's probably going to affect the way the electricity flows through it. Um, I call it a uh, semi-disaster, because even though it looks like it does it didn't break any wire so I got really lucky but uh, yeah not real good so uh, basically that's what I got so I got both of them wraps on here though you see how this side looks real flat and this side looks twisted it's kinda cool effect actually I might leave it like that and try it and then try to straighten them out and I was gonna try to uh, get these a little tighter so they're more wrapped in the center but uh... yeah gotta do some zip tying and maybe some gluing and then i'll be ready for testing so uh... i'll keep you posted and uh... hopefully i can get some cool waveforms or interesting voltage out of this uh... interweaved coil here which is inside the other one so there you go this is uh... uh i think it's number twenty wire it could be bigger. I think it's number 20, though. Uh, I'm not sure what gauge this is. It's pretty small. Um, but this is, uh, I believe, around 200 foot wrapped on here. This is uh, nine and a half inches across. Um, and I wrapped it 19 times on each winding. So there's a total of, let's see, 28 windings. Is that right? 38. I don't know. You figure it out. 19 apiece. Alright. So, uh, oh, and I'm going to destroy it after all. So there you go. I'll keep you updated. I'm going to play with it right now, and then when I come up with some, uh, some results, I'll show you. But uh, hopefully this will make a nice speaker. <laughs> As you can see what I've been trying to do with my little one. If you haven't watched my other videos, this is a Starship Rogan Coil. I've been playing music through it. Pretty cool. So this should be pretty neat. I'll show you the size difference. So, uh, yeah, this will be cool. I'll keep you updated, uh, but I wanted to throw that in there. Kind of sadly disappointed that that happened, but uh, it did. What can I say? Oh, joy. So there you go. Peace out. Later.